Hi kids, I'm Sarah and this is Kids Life Online. Woo! Something you may not know about me is that I love magic tricks. So today, I want to show you what I can do. I need a magic wand. Ready? Woo! Here it is. <laughs> just kidding, I don't actually need a magic wand. I just wanted to do that trick. Okay, so this first trick is called the color changer and this piece of fabric is going to change colors. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. That's not how it changes color. I <laughs> first I have to put it inside my hand here. Perfectly normal. Go to pay presto and it's changed color. Okay, so this next trick, I have a vase or a, a vase, a little jar, jug thing. Anyway, it's pretty cool. It looks like this. Inside is a ball. Perfectly normal ball. Has a little bit of a bounce to it. I'm gonna pop that back in there. And what I'm gonna do is gonna make this ball disappear. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on the ball and I'm going to click my fingers and watch, the ball has disappeared. Oh. It didn't disappear. What? How why didn't this work? Okay, so this next trick, what I'm gonna do is gonna put one ball into this hand here. I'm gonna pick up the other one, and what's gonna happen is magically there's nothing in this hand, and there's two in this hand. Okay, so all of these are just tricks, and if you watch till the end of the video, I might show you how I did some of them. But Sarah, what do these magic tricks have to do with a Bible? Well, nothing really. In our lives, we're going to have people that will try and trick us. We're going to have people that will try and make us believe things that aren't true. But the Bible is true. It's no trick. I want to tell you a story about a time when God helped me. No tricks involved. So this is a true story that actually happened to me a couple of years ago. I fell over when I was walking outside and I really hurt my ankle. Oh, no. When I went to bed that night, it started getting worse and worse until I couldn't sleep. And then in the middle of the night, I was in such excruciating pain that I started panicking. I actually had what we call a panic attack. I couldn't breathe, I was crying, there was snot everywhere. I was like full on panicking and I couldn't think of what to do. And so I said the two words that I knew would help me no matter what. I said, God, help. Except it looked more like this. <laughs> God, help. <laughs> and you know what he did? He helped me. I felt this sense of calm wash over me. As soon as I said, God, help, it was like instant whoosh. Calm, peace, and quiet. It gave me some time to think clearly and properly without panic. And do you know what I did? <laughs> I actually called my mum. So my mum came and took me to the hospital and the doctors told me that I had really badly sprained my ankle. They gave me some painkillers and they gave me crutches. But the story doesn't end there. The doctors told me that I had to wear the crutches for two weeks and then I would spend a further six weeks still having to like take it easy on my foot. Do you know how long I had to use crutches for? Two days. This was because someone from church prayed for me to get a quick recovery and guess what? my ankle got better really quickly. In fact, two weeks later, when I was meant to give up the crutches, I was walking completely fine and normal because my recovery time turned from eight weeks into two weeks. And my crutches, instead of using them for two weeks, I used them for two days. God healed my mind from panic and he healed my body from pain. That wasn't a trick. God helped me, he healed me because he loves me. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 13 verses five and six, for God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. So I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? This means that even though people, including ourselves might hurt us, God will always help us. If you could take away two words from this video, I want the two words to be this, God help. Every time I've said those two words, God has helped me in ways I could never imagine. And God wants to help you too. So if you ever feel like you need help, I want you to cry out to God and say, God help, because he will. 
And as always, if you have any questions about this, please talk to me about it. My email is sarah at portlife.org.au. I'd love to chat with you. Well, that's it for me today, but I have one last thing to say to you. Remember, God loves you. <laughs> Wait, that's not the last thing. I have to show you how I did some of those tricks. So this trick here, you've got a ball in the middle. That's a real ball. But you also have this fake ball. So if you lift it up like that, you see that. But if you lift it like this, there's no ball because it has a middle piece. <laughs> this trick here actually has a, I've got a fake thumb on. So when I put my hand like this, I put this in here like that. And then I pull it back out again. And this trick is a little bit of sleight of hand. So it looks like I'm putting it in there and closing my fist. But what I'm actually doing is putting it in my hand. It looks, it's not there, it's here. And I palm it in this hand and then I pick up this. So then I have two here and none there. But the real trick is if you only use one ball and put it in this hand and then you turn it over and the ball is still there, but this one's turned into a bunny. What?